Today we're back with another match day vlog. It's another away day. It's Blackpool versus Swansea City in the Skybit Championship. 3 p.m. kickoff away at Bloomfield Road. It's currently five o'clock in the morning. Um, the bus leaves at six, so yeah, it's a bit of an early one. But um, yeah, it's going to be me and Luke going, um, and three of our other mates. Obviously, it's my third away day of the season after Rotherham and Oxford, and it's Luke's second after Rotherham. But um, yeah, we'll catch up to you and with Luke and the boys and see what they think ahead of the game. Right, so we're here on the ground, fucking hell of a journey, eight hours on the bus, stuck in traffic. But the lineups here, Andy Fisher, Ben Cabango, Kyle Moulton, Harry Darling, Joel Lacalodi, Jay Fulton, Matt Grimes, Ryan Manning, Matty Sorondola, Joel Perot, and Mike Lobba, Fermi, and Luke Rivio. On the bench, we've got Stephen Bender, Joe Allen, Elena Cham, Liam Cullen, Nathan Wood, Ollie Cooper, and Cameron Congo. Right, so we're going to do it again. Obviously, we've got you on at Redden and Forest, but Blackpool, what's your prediction? Blackpool, two. Yeah. Swans, hell. Ooh, interesting. Right, so with Marley, then, what's your prediction? Um, this time round, things have changed. I'm 17 years old. Yeah. You've got a fucking beat out. Um, and I don't laugh like I get scrap. But yeah, 2 1 Swans. Yeah. Uh, pro of the family, Reese Williams. Nice one. Yeah. Right, so we Swans away days, also known as Reese Bush. What's your prediction? 1 0 Swans over Femi, scruffy game. Yeah. Two teams who have lost the last couple of games. Um, yeah, 1 0, scruffy over Femi goal. Just need three points, to be honest. We do, we really do.
right to half time, back from last one to three now. It's been great, it's been better than our last three games. Um, Manning has been class. Um, I, I see the weapon they're using Manning and Solano as winners. Uh, it's working pretty well to be honest with you. Uh, they are doing long balls sometimes, I don't know why, because all the players are against Rich Williams, he's not going to win it early. But I think, yeah, Manning's been my best players. Brian's been good, Colton's been good. Um, we haven't really managed to get growing up with any involvement in the game, but I think that'll come in the second half. But yeah, what's your think about that? Yeah, I think we've actually dominated the game to be honest with you. You know, the, the, you know I think. Blackpool have been playing on the counter-attack being in it, but I think, you know, we have played well so far, we've had a lot of good chances, Pearl's had a few chances, Brian's had a few of our, we've had a few headers there for Gavangelo and um, Zarin, I think, so, you know, we've done really well so far, it's just trying to find that cutting edge, really, but I think we, we need to score early, I think, I think, I think if Blackpool do score, I don't think it'll be game over, so we're not going to come from the audience, but we, we definitely need to get our goal and we need to get it early as, early as we can, really. Yeah.
So, full time, Blackpool, yeah, Swansea City won. First win of the season, brilliant. Deserved to win that. Um, we're a bit off at times, but I thought, you know, throughout the game we deserved to win. Manning was great. Um, I thought Nisham was bright when he came on. Pro and Obafemi struggled to get in the game. Cabango was a bit dodgy. Darling was excellent. Um, but yeah, I'm just happy we got the first win, you know, set all the nerves. Um, yeah, we deserved it, and, you know, a much nicer feeling going home on the coach now after that win than the previous two away games, but um, yeah, what's your thoughts on that game? Uh, oh, it was a brilliant game in my opinion, I thought first half we were well to better side, and then we let Blackpool get back into it really, then we made changes, I thought Incham at the start when he came on wasn't great, but obviously he did get, go, and get the, go, go and get that goal, which was perfectly set by Oak Fame and him being uh, unselfish there, and um, yeah, it's a brilliant performance, we, did, we definitely deserved to win, could have scored about 3 or 4 in that game easy, if we were more clinical enough on our day, but great result, great to get our first win under our belt, and yeah, move on to our next game. Yeah, obviously a massive thanks for watching this video. Um, we will be back next Monday night for our match preview ahead of Millwall Home. So yeah, stay tuned for that and thanks for watching.